Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to end tonight with uh, in the same place that I began in the classroom. And uh, this is called My Muse. Webster's Dictionary defines muse as the spirit regarded as inspiring a poet. When I call on my muse, she looks the other way. Out the window, under her desk, twirls a strand of purple hair, imagines me invisible, acts like no one stands in front of the classroom, asking about the sound of the color red. My muse would like to kick my ass. He slouches hard in the back row, arms crossed, eyes angry. Doesn't have a pen, doesn't want to borrow mine, doesn't want to be there. But when the bell rings at the end of the period, he takes his time. And when no one else is looking, he flips a tiny square of poetry on the desk in front of me and makes my day. My muse flip-flops yellow down school hallways, wears lime green high tops with black fishnet stockings I wish I had the nerve to wear. He is a sweet sixth grader who smells like bubble gum in empty apartments, sports blue braces and a chip front tooth, has mohawked hair and droopy drawers. And it's all I can do not to reach out and pull them up. My muse sees the world through funky glasses, a world both starlit and nightmare black, a world he wants to push away, a world he wants to cling to, a world of phantom roller coasters, and he's not tall enough to get on and ride, so he waits alone behind the fence and wonders what it's like to let go. And when he doesn't have the answers, he just might look to poetry for the words. My muse is high maintenance, a complex ballerina, a wannabe thug. When he says, I can't write no poetry, I say, good, so let's write some. She says, poetry is a snooze fest. And I say, rise and shine. He says, but, but miss, it's hard to think. And I say, write that down, it's a good line for a poem. She wants to know, can she write about her best friend's brother who got shot last week? The daddy he ain't never seen. Someone's mama fighting in Iraq. Another mother lost to crack. A slamming door. The bathroom bully. The kid too skinny, too short, too smart. And I weep at their rough edges, their skinned knees, the exposed poetry of their lives. My muse talks shit like, that poem was dope, was ill, was whack. And I nod my head and smile, wondering, is that good or bad? <laughs> And when she really wants my attention, she says, yo, miss, are you the poet? And every time this happens, I am again bloodied and reborn and say, yes, I am the poet. When you and you and all of you exist, so do I. Thank you all so much. <laughs>